What's up guys, today I'm going to do a quick little video on uh, Grandomate 3 and Vectorworks. This is going to be uh, exporting an MVR file or a My Virtual Rig file from Vectorworks or similar software. This one's specifically for Vectorworks. And uh, exporting your patch, your fixtures, your plot, and just as much information as possible pertaining to your 3D stage from Vectorworks into Granome 3 and why I find it so useful. So yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So here you see we've got a good little Vectorworks file. Oh, I guess I haven't saved in 18 minutes. Uh, so yeah, got a Vectorworks file. Uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, you see we've got some spots, some Perseo profiles some JDC1s and some Acne Pixel Lines and uh, you can see scroll down here we've got them all patched we don't have fixture IDs or anything because I'd rather take care of that in MA3 but we've got patch, plot, placement, all that kind of jazz so first thing let's do is let's go file and export and this will take a second but let's export MVR and we can go through and actually see uh, different things or uh, different settings for how we want to export. I will update GDTF files usually to the most recent data. Uh, I find GDTF files are just a little more uh, a little more friendly when I do this conversion because uh, Grandomate three does allow you to uh, use. GDTF files now so yeah uh, let's just go OK on that we have all our fixtures and all of our environmentals selected so now we'll wait a couple seconds while Vectorworks uh, starts exporting the MVR shouldn't take too long once the pop-up comes up but it loves to take a couple seconds on this computer especially if I'm doing other stuff so it should pop up soon. So while we're waiting on that, we can go over here to Granome 3. Uh, this is a different file. So now what I can do here is just load up a new file. We'll go back up and new show. And we'll just call it uh, GMA3 MVR Vector Works Tut. And we'll do new show. Go back over here and see. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll just save as that. And it'll take a couple seconds. But we'll export BM or MVR. There we go. Cool. So we can hop out of Vectorworks now and we'll have to go to our file explorer really quick uh, so I saved this on my desktop and MVRs and here is that file I'm gonna copy that uh, go down to or I guess yeah I'll go down to PC there it is this PC we'll go local disk and you'll have to make sure that you allow uh, hidden files to show up or hidden file types to show up on your uh, in your file explorer. Uh, then you'll go to program data and go to MA lighting technology and Granome 3 library and we'll go down to MVR and we will paste. Uh, I'm gonna replace in the destination and boom that's all we gotta do and now you can go to our patch in this new file and you can see it pops up this screen so that means nothing's patched and you can confirm there's nothing patched over here so what we're going to do is instead of starting to patch our fixtures we can just go import MVR and grab our design or our MVR from Vectorworks and now we can scroll down you see that we have all these fixtures in here which is great but you also see we have our Tyler truss, we have our LED screens, we have our hoists, our bridles, uh, our lighting pipes, as well as our stage decks, and we want all of that. 
Uh, I usually try to take as much as possible and if I don't want something I'll just delete it off of here later. So now we can import MVR and you see we've got all these things in our patch now but maybe we don't want to see our truss and our stage decks in our patch. Well we can just go to hide environmental and boom there are just the lighting fixtures. So now you can see they kind of just show up in a random order usually or I don't know if it's really a random order but I'm just gonna go up here and sort by patch and now I can start giving things fixture IDs usually I do this uh, usually I start giving fixture IDs in Grand MA3 just because it saves me a little bit of the time it's a lot easier to do this right click go 101 and do all of it than actually go through each fixture and vector works unless I actually have to do that for some reason usually don't uh, so yeah, I'll just start giving everything a uh, fixture ID and boom. So there's that and now let's X out and you see now we have a patch and it looks like it is pretty accurate to what our stage in Vectorworks was. So now we can open up a 3D view and you see we have almost identical to how it looked in Vectorworks. Uh, so now I can even go as far as to open up data pool, go groups, and let's start making some groups. So I can just go shortcuts, 101, and then we see that pops up. So 101 through 106, please. And let's store that. And let's swipe the label uh, fly profiles. And then let's go 1101 through 1106 please and we store that swipey floor profiles 201 through 204 please and those are our JDC ones so we'll call those strobes and we'll go 301 through 399 because I can't remember how many there are and boom, we'll call those pixel lines. So now you can go through, you can, uh, let's say we want high shadow, high haze, and let's go add at, and let's check those positions. Yep, and then we go add at, same thing. Oops. Yep. Add that. And see, that doesn't really do anything. I think it's mostly just the uh, GDTF file. So you can always update that, or you can find a new, uh, new fixture type if you need to. But then, yeah, you see that. And those turned on. So, yeah, now you can see we clearly have all our fixtures and they show up in our MA3D. So it's a lot easier to get a lot of programming done without having to. Uh, build this again either in MA3D or go to an external visualizer. There's, certainly there's going to be some things that will be nice in the visualizer like the pixel lines or fixtures with a lot of instances are usually going to be a lot more simplified by using a, uh, a visualizer that's not on board. But this is a really easy way to either practice with uh, using Vectorworks and MA3 or also just an easy way to convert your files over if you are uh, going from a large project that you built out in Vectorworks and you don't want to take up a lot of time in MA3. So this is one of my favorite parts of using Grand MA3. Uh, so hopefully this helps. I'm going to try to upload more. It's becoming the winter, which is the best time for me to do that since we slow down, but it's been such a, it's been exhausting here, so uh, I apologize for not getting a lot of content out, but hopefully I should be able to get a good amount of MA3 and maybe some more MA2 videos out there as well since uh, I know a lot of you guys are still going to be using MA2, myself included, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and let me know if there's anything you want to see or any uh, any tips or anything like that. Just let me know. Appreciate you guys, and have a good one.